Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 19th of 2022. Well, it is titled the Tadpole Nebula in Gas and Dust. So what do we see here? Well, this is known as the Tadpool Nebula, also known by the catalog designation IC410, and is about 12,000 light years away and is a star forming region where stars are currently forming. Now you'll note that no stars are visible in the image and that is because they have been digitally removed to allow us to focus on the nebula. Let's take a quick look at the image with the stars on it and we can do that. And as we do we see the stars there. But you'll notice that it does kind of distract from the details of the image. So what we want to look at today is this image without the stars. So what we see is the tadpoles off to the lower right hand side kind of pointing up towards the darker regions up in the towards the middle. And those are regions of star formation. Those are some of the denser areas in which stars are currently forming. And they're denser so they're not eaten away quite as easily by the energy of other stars that have formed before. So when stars form, their strong stellar winds and the radiation pressure push back the gas and the dust and only the denser areas will survive at first and those will eventually be eaten away but it's quite possible that a few more stars will be able to form before that happens before we get a critical number of stars and we start to completely clean out this nebula to completely move out all of the material and eventually what will be left behind is just a cluster of stars now as we look here we see the different colors present and that is actually looking at the emission of three different types of atoms present here. And in the red we are seeing sulfur in the green is hydrogen and in the blue is oxygen. So that highlights where those gases are specifically present and allows us to see them in far more detail by looking at a narrow band image like this where we see just the specific wavelengths of those elements. Whereas when we look at a broadband image, we would be looking at much more radiation from the stars. So in addition into removing the stars from this, looking at it just in those very narrow bands gives us far more detail and structure to be able to study the distribution of the gas and dust within this nebula. So that was our picture of the day for, for December 19th of 2022. It was titled the Tadpool Nebula in Gas and Dust. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Big Thor. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.